Today, we're talking about an innovative way to improve the intelligence of your intrusion detection alarm system uh, in such a way that it allows you to detect specific behavior well before and more specifically than you've ever been able to do before using a motion detector or a door contact. And in order to implement this uh, capability, all you really need is a Bosch intrusion detection alarm panel, which many businesses already have, um, and a Bosch IP camera. Um, this is probably one of the most unique features of the Bosch Intrusion panels and, and perhaps even of, of Bosch security in general, yet it's mm -hmm. probably one of the uh, least utilized. So to help us figure all this out, I have Ari Arenthal with me today. And Hi, Ari, <laughs> what's, up, what's going on, buddy? Uh, and why do you think, in your professional opinion, your expert opinion, that this has been such an, such an underutilized solution? Well, Matt, I really think there are two reasons for this. First, Bosch IP cameras come with free video analytics license and free video analytics capability built right into the uh, into the cameras themselves. But it's really one of the security industry's best kept secrets. Not enough people know about the free video analytics license, free video analytic capability. Uh, either they don't know the true capability of what they already have installed, or they haven't uh, considered using Bosch IP cameras before and are missing out on a significant opportunity. Second, uh, well, security intrusion detection systems, they, historically they use two strategies to protect structures. First, you wanna monitor all, your, all the openings in your building. You wanna monitor uh, the doors, the windows, for example, magnetic contacts on doors. The second strategy for protecting a structure is using uh, a motion detector to monitor a room or an area to monitor any kind of uh, open space. Now, most motion detectors have uh, two weaknesses. First, the only thing that a motion detector can tell you is whether you have movement or no movement. And second, it can't tell you the difference between important movement and unimportant movement. So uh, motion detectors are just not intelligent. Okay, so it's a, it's a motion detector, a door contact. Um, mm -hmm. Those kind of things are, are very on or off type devices. It's either in alarm or it's not, I don't know why, but here's my alarm and go sol go, you know, go investigate, right? Or call the police or whatever. So exactly. the old way wasn't that intelligent, but it was reliable. So, mm -hmm. um, so it's still common practice because it, it works, right? right. Um, so, so if you wanted a device that could tell you the difference between important motion and unimportant motion, you'd need an intelligent detector. But all of our cameras are intelligent. They all have video analytics built right into the camera at no additional charge. Mm -hmm. If you program the camera and tell it exactly what to look for using simple rules-based programming, you can filter out interesting and important behaviors out from uninteresting and unimportant behaviors. This gives you a lot more options than the standard motion detector. So essentially it's not, a, I mean, it's different, but it's similar to motion-based mm -hmm. recording for video cameras back in the day, if you will, versus right. using intelligent analytics to determine uh, direction of travel or lawyering and, and, and things like that. So, so to bring it back to intrusion detection, let's discuss an example or two, whatever, of how the video analytics in the Bosch cameras, when it's integrated with the alarm panel, makes a difference in the real world. You know, so mm -hmm. let's, let's have a, a real world example here that people can think through. And of course, you know, again, every application is different. Their challenges are different. The way that they use the system is different. But um, mm -hmm. you know, let's let's go with one uh, primary example here that we can work through. So let me run one example through from concept to solution. So let's say you mount a camera in an art gallery, okay. and you take that camera, you program virtual areas representing no touch zones around a painting hanging on the wall. You can then trust the alarm panel to uh, ignore people walking around, and also trust it that it'll react somehow if somebody tries to remove a painting. You can't do that with a motion detector. Any motion detector in the world will just be confused by people walking around and won't be able to tell the difference between people walking around, which is, you know, uh, legit. That's, that's behavior. what you do. <laughs> yeah. And uh, people taking paintings off the wall, which is uh, behavior we want to stop. Basically, we're teaching the alarm system to look for behavior detection instead of just pattern detection. We're making the system more intelligent. Now, that's only one aspect of, uh, of the problem. 
So the other aspect, in, so besides for intelligent detection, we're also enabling intelligent responses. Okay. Motion detectors are mainly useful when a structure is empty. And the structure is empty, we arm the system, and uh, now we can use our motion detectors. Most motion detectors are programmed not to respond at all when the system is disarmed. That's because when you have a motion detector connected to a traditional burglar alarm, the only options you have are call the police and set off sirens. You don't want to do either of those things when people are walking around and people are supposed to be inside your structure. But right. your Bosch intrusion detection system can respond intelligently, and that gives you a lot more flexibility. Okay, so what, when you, I think we covered what intelligent detection is, and I mm -hmm. think what you're hinting at is I can change how I respond to certain types of alarms. So describe for me exactly what intelligent response means in your mind. So you can have a response that falls short of calling the police and falls short of setting off sirens. Or for both, example, right? That you, can or set both. A, yeah. you can do both, right? You could do both. You, and you can still do both with our systems, but we have more responses for you to choose from. For example, you can send emails and send text messages directly to your staff. Let's say you have a situation that you think your staff is better equipped to handle than the police would be. So you can route a text message and an email directly to them. Now you could do this with a traditional burglar alarm connected to central station monitoring as well, but that takes a few minutes to happen. With our panels, you can do that instantly or, you know, closer, as close to instantly as it gets. Uh, so you can send a text message directly to your security guard in real time. You give them the opportunity to go talk to your uh, art lover and say, please don't touch the paintings. Yeah, I mean, I guess in reality, um, mm -hmm. the first, you know, let's just say you have some VIPs walking around and, and somebody gets, feels that they have the ability to get a little closer than the general public. The last thing mm -hmm. you want is the uh, police showing up to investigate when it's actually somebody who's trying to donate a lot of money or a lot of their time to you, right? So mm -hmm. handling this um, is, is more than security, it's customer service as well. And this allows a business and organization to um, provide service, right? It's not just about security, but perhaps mm -hmm. I want to give an alarm that tells me there's too many people waiting in line to get into the art gallery to begin with, mm -hmm. right? So I could be notified of that as well. Exactly. Not every situation calls for the hard response. Sometimes <laughs> you want a soft response. Sometimes yeah. you want somebody on site who understands the situation to handle the situation. That gives you more flexibility. Yeah, absolutely. So, so far we've talked about kind of a closed system, a, a Bosch mm -hmm. camera acting as a, as a smart detector in a Bosch intrusion control panel situation, right? So mm -hmm. how, how can you take this intelligent detection and intelligent response and use it with other systems for maybe more of a, an overall uh, environmental or um, operational plan rather than mm -hmm. just, well, here's my little widget that does this and here's sure. my widget that does that. How do we make all that come together? You can actually integrate the alarm panel into other types of systems, both from Bosch and from third-party manufacturers. That gives you a lot more options. For example, uh, if a camera detects uh, somebody taking a painting of a wall, you could bring up a uh, Bosch video camera feed at a screen at the security office. Like so, in, in their VMS or something like that, right? Right. So in the, in the VMS, you'll have a screen uh, showing the video client and somebody taking the camera, somebody taking the painting off the wall will send a signal to the, uh, from the camera to the alarm panel, from the alarm panel to the VMS, from the VMS to the client, and that's almost instant. So it'll just bring up a screen as a security officer uh, is monitoring uh, the video client. So that gets their attention right away. Or maybe you can set off uh, an automated message on the PA system uh, saying, please don't touch the artwork. You can uh, set off uh, an automated message on all the, uh, all the speakers or just in the speakers in that immediate area and say, please don't touch the artwork. You know, a friendly reminder. You could transmit an alert message to uh, security guards walkie-talkie saying, you know, somebody's touching an artwork, please go, uh, you know, check them out and remind them not to. You can integrate into all sorts of third-party systems. So, so there, so if you have, mm -hmm. obviously there's multiple things being triggered simultaneously here, 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you could stack all these uh, responses simultaneously. You could have um, lots of different responses from uh, being triggered by a single analytics rule. This kind of immediate local response falling short of calling the police or triggering the sirens, it lets you tailor a response or tailor a reaction based on your organization's operational plan. So having this capability opens up a lot more options for security end users. With a little planning, a little forethought, we can create an intelligent security system that can detect intelligently uh, what is happening and it can then respond intelligently as well. Okay, well, um, I think this is a great lead in to kind of get some ideas flowing on uh, capabilities and, and some ways to apply it. And mm -hmm. um, it, it's good timing because I know there are two specific videos that I think are worth watching. And, and one of them, uh, Tom Meckler from Bosch, uh, basically takes our discussion here and takes mm -hmm. it kind of a little bit, I don't want to say technical, but he touches on the technical side and goes into uh, many more examples, whether it's um, banking or airports, whatever. He has a lot mm -hmm. of retail. He has a lot of examples of, of applications that could benefit from these ideas, right? Some, mm -hmm. some thought starters. And then the second thing um, that I think is a challenge that we've worked on recently is the programming mm -hmm. of this, right? Um, right? At some point, a technician is gonna have to program all the ones and zeros into the system to make this work using mm -hmm. Bosch um, remote programming software, um, setting up the analytics rules in the camera, so on and so forth. So, um, you know, Joe Barnhart and I worked on a video, I should say Joe did all the work and I just, sat here and talked <laughs> like I'm talking to you. Joe did all this programming and did a, a click by click tutorial of how to set this up. So first mm -hmm. you need to have an idea. Hey, I got, I have a thought I have this challenge. I have this way to fix it, but then you actually have to implement it. Right? Sure. So our team is here to help make this a possibility, make these possibilities a reality for people who've never considered before. We can do a virtual demonstration. We can perform a site visit at your facility. Just contact us at support at midches.com. We'll be happy to provide a demonstration or have a discussion uh, about your application. So thanks, Matt. All right. Thanks, Ari.